Hamden. As of 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, on October 31st, Halloween, we still have about uh, uh, 4,200 residents without power. Now, a lot of that is in one big chunk. Uh, some of that came up earlier today, about 10 of 3, but it only stayed up for a few minutes, so I know UI is still working, out, uh, working on it. Uh, there are seven UI crews uh, working to get this very large uh, uh, swath of people back up. Um, so hopefully uh, this evening or into the morning time, uh, those people will come back up. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done. Uh, roads to be cleared. Uh, tonight's Halloween. Uh, we ask people to be safe. We ask people to be responsible. Uh, I'm on my way to trick or treat with my children, so I understand the challenges. We ask parents to, to, to trick or treat with their children to keep an eye on, on potential hazards because kids can't get excited around Halloween. Um, well, we chose to do that because, you know, frankly, there's no way to reach 61,000 residents in a single uh, uh, time period. So whether we said Halloween is canceled, postponed or not, children would be out. So in a storm situation, in an emergency situation, confusion is our enemy. And we wanted to avoid confusion and say, okay, we're going to have Halloween, but let's be safe about it. Let parents, let trick-or-treaters, let everyone be safe about it. Um, so that's, uh, that's uh, really where we stand. Schools are closed tomorrow. We had a lot of discussion between uh, Hamden Police, Public Works, and the Board of Education. And at about 4.30 today, uh, the superintendent of schools decided that schools would close tomorrow. So uh, that is, uh, that is uh, her call. Hopefully uh, many of us will wake up tomorrow and say, well, why are schools closed? Including me, since I have a, a son in the system. Um, hopefully that will be the case, because the best case scenario for all of us is we wake up, we have power, and we have a return to normalcy. That's what we're working on.